All right, today we're going to look at moving rows of data using App Script in Google Sheets. So this is a very useful thing to do, whether you have a lead CRM, kind of like what we have shown here, or maybe you have some projects and you want to assign it to different people, or basically any kind of data where you want to split it into different tabs based on a single data point. So for this example, um, status, or it could be a person. And so let me just explain super briefly how I got this Google Sheet structured, and then we'll dive right into the script. So I have four different tabs here, leads, prospects, sales, and lost. And so then I have this status column in column A, and all these dropdowns correspond to the different tabs I have. So I have leads, which is this first tab, prospects, which is the second, sales, and lost. The second thing, is I have the tabs all in the same order and the same um, same things going on in each column. So first name, last name, phone, email, street, city, state, zip code, potential sale, and notes. And so as you go through, we have the same layout and the same setup. And this just makes writing the script a lot more simple and quick to do. So that's enough on this side of it. And then let's go ahead and dive in the script. So extensions and app script, and we already had this pulled up, so um, let's just go ahead and get started. So one thing that I'm not really gonna explain um, here, but I'm gonna do this little neat feature. This will help with our authorization that you'll see in a minute. But this little piece of code basically keeps us from having to go through Google's warning screen when we do the authorization. But we'll see that in a minute. Uh, and so let's just go ahead and jump into this. So first off, we need our function, and the function is just what actually does something in the script. So I'm gonna call this one on edit, and this is a Google built-in function that once we authorize this script, it's going to automatically check our Google Sheet every time we make a change. And then I put this E in there, and what that E symbolizes, um, and it doesn't matter the name, it could be event or whatever, but basically this symbolizes it captures the data from each edit. So every time I edit the Google Sheet and this function runs, this E is gonna contain data about the edit that I just made. So it's gonna contain stuff like the range, which is basically what I edited, where I edited, I mean. Um, it's gonna contain uh, the value, what, what I entered or selected or typed in. And then it's gonna contain stuff like what tab we're on and so forth. So this is gonna help us to basically take our data and move it to another tab. So as an example, as we work through this, we're gonna assume that we want to mark Godwin as a prospect. So we need to be able to find out that we selected prospects in column A, and then move this row of data over to prospects. So let's just start in. So the way we're gonna find out, um, we wanna make sure we're only looking in column A for that status. So first off, let's get our range object. So let range equals e dot range. And so this is getting our range data set from this event object. And then let's get a couple things from that. So let's, for example, get the column. So we'll get range dot get column. And let's go ahead and just get the row here, range dot get row. Um, let's get the value, range dot get value. Another thing we can get from here, this event object, we're gonna do source now though. We're gonna get the active sheet. So this is gonna be the sheet that got edited and we're gonna use that to get the data in a, in a couple of minutes. Oh, I didn't get the, let's do, let source equals. A little typo there. <clears throat> All right, so now we got our basic data things that we need to get. We got our column, we got our row, we got our value, we got our source. So let's just do an if statement to make sure we're in the right column. So we only want um, column one, which column A is column one um, in the numeric value. <clears throat> and then let's go ahead and let's just exclude in case um, you just happen to hit enter and it's blank. We'll just keep it from running. So we're just gonna do value is not equal to blank. All right, so now let's go ahead and get our source data. Because basically now we have, um, if column one is edited and the value is not at blank, so basically we're saying we're good to go, we need to move this. <clears throat> so first let's get our source data. 
And so let's reference the actual spreadsheet. Because <clears throat> right now we've just been looking at the event object, but now we need to drill down from the top again. And so first off, we're going to get our spreadsheet. And so I just like to use SS to refer to that. And then we'll use a spreadsheet <clears throat> and get our active sheet method. And so this now is going to reference to this sheet. And but we need to iron down one more. We need to get to this leads tab. And so I'm going to iron down. Let's do let sheet equals SS and get sheet by name. And so we have the source tab right here. Um, but we just need to get the name on that. So let's just go ahead and use that get name um, method. And this will give us our target sheet, which is leads, or our source sheet rather. Um, and now we can get our target sheet from our value, because that's what our value is going to contain is prospects, which corresponds to our next tab. So we can get let target sheet equals SS. Let me go ahead and do this camel case here. Get sheet by name, and we'll just grab that value. So this is going to equal prospects, and so we'll get our prospects tab there. So finally, let's get our data. So again, this is going to be our sheet, and then this method called get range. And now we can see a little pop-up and gives us a little helper. So we want the row, which we actually have captured right there. So row, now it's going to ask us for column. And we actually need four different values. If I scroll down here, we can see we've got row, column, number of rows, and then number of columns. So we're looking for four different pieces, four different numbers, basically. And so <clears throat> this is going to be our starting column. And so we'll just go ahead and copy the status over as well. So we'll just start in column one. We'll just grab the whole thing. And then now we see number of rows, which we only want one row. And then finally, number of columns. So we could count this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we could put eleven in here. But if we want this more resilient, we could do something like sheet.get last column. And then this will automatically work even if we end up adding more columns on here. Maybe we need to add some more, um, more info about the person, more info about the sale. And one thing to keep in mind, like we talked about before, is uh, if we want to keep this script simple, we just want to make sure if I add a new column here that I also have it on these as well. All right, so let's go back to here. So now we have a range. We have a row starting in column one, one row, and getting our last column in that sheet. And then let's just go ahead and do our final method, get values. And this actually extracts the values from that range that we've selected. All right, so now that we have the data, we're going to go ahead and paste that data in the new sheet. So we have the target sheet right here. So all we got to do is do target sheet, append row, and then here's the data that we have. Now, the only thing we have to do is add this zero, and I don't have time to, to get into arrays and how that works right now, but suffice it to say, um, we're gonna grab this data, and then we're gonna do this append row and put this zero, because we only want the first one. Um, and so it's just the way that it grabs the values. Google basically thinks this is multiple rows, and so we're just grabbing that first one. Um, I know it's confusing, it's a zero instead of a one, um, but Google just, uh, array methods just start with a zero instead of one. So um, suffice to say, this is what you'll need to get there. And then the last thing we need to do is, so we have our data, we've copied it to our target sheet, and now we just need to delete that row from the original. So we're just gonna do sheet, delete row, and we still have that row number right here. And so we'll just put row. So let's go ahead and shorten up, get rid of some of this extra space here. And then now all we got to do is make sure we got it saved. And then we just hit run to authorize this. Because right now, um, Google doesn't know that it needs to run this until we authorize it. And then it'll be good to go. Now, while Google's getting this up and going, I'm going to explain this is going to look a little different with this at only current doc. It's actually going to simplify this workflow to what we're going to see here in a second. So 
click review permissions. Google is going to ask us to, to sign in. And then because we have this only current doc, we just have this simple um, authorized workflow here. If we did not have this at only current doc, then Google would give us this warning telling us Google didn't make this and um, make sure you trust the developer, all blah, 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 blah. But if you're only needing to access the current uh, spreadsheet with App Script, this is a cool little thing to add. And then it makes it easier to do this. So we're going to click allow. And we're going to have this error, but this is perfectly fine. Basically, this function is checking for an edit on the Google Sheet. And if you've noticed, all we've been doing is working in this. We actually haven't, haven't edited Google Sheet. And so this, basically what it's telling us is range is undefined. And it's talking about this function right here, um, or this line of code where we're trying to, trying to declare this variable. And so it's trying to find this range in E, but E doesn't have anything because we're not editing the Google Sheet at the moment. Um, so first time you run this and you get this message, don't worry about it. Um, you can go ahead and check the Google Sheet instead. So we have everything done here. So let's go back to the Google Sheet and see if everything is working correctly. So this is the one we're talking about doing. And so let's go ahead and just select prospects here and see if it moves over. Sure enough, it's gone. Let's check the next tab and there it is. Now let's say we did add a little data here. Maybe it's a potential sale. Um, calling back. Friday, and um, then come Friday, let's say um, we got the sale. So now we can just go back here, select sales, and this row gets moved over here, and it preserves all that data. Now what happens if you accidentally click sales, and you're like, oh, whoops, this is supposed to go to, to lost. I just come here, click lost, and it moves to lost. Now. Maybe down the road, we want to run it back through the, the process again. So maybe we could send it back to leads if we want. And there we are, and it's back at the bottom of that. All right, so that's all it really takes. So you can tell that it doesn't really take a bunch of code to move rows between tabs. And uh, we're going to have some more videos here shortly to get into a little more of this, um, explain things like this, why we need this zero here to get the proper data in there. Um, but I just wanted to release a quick video, just give you a demo of how simple it is to make a quick script to move data, um, a row of data between tabs. So I'm gonna link um, a copy of this um, in the description of the YouTube video. Um, so you can check this out for yourself and follow along. All right, thanks guys, see you again soon.